What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. It is Monday and we're back at it. We got some TTMs and also another package from Tops. Looks like we're getting some of the home run uh, challenge cards in. So sweet. Let's start off with these before we get to our TTMs. I don't know if you guys saw my last video, but my last video, I got a home run challenge card, which was a Cunha Jr. Let's see, where did I put that thing? Maybe I can show you guys if I have it here. Of course, that's, I have no idea where it is right now. All right, here it is. I got this last time. Sorry, guys. And it is uh, 172. I got. I was number 86 out of 172. So that's a real low number. I should have at least five more in here. So let's see. There's our receipt. I don't know if you've guys done the home run challenge cards yet, but uh, I won one last year. And like I said, we had a shortened season this year. Sweet. And uh, so I, I, I got a, a bunch of those home run cards, and I just started calling them in. So here we go. Looks like we got five here, guys. We'll pull out from the back to see what we did. First one looks like it's Aaron, uh, let's see, Nolan Arenado, 400 out of 593. Looks like we guessed uh, he'd hit a home run in August. So sweet there. Next one we got. Looks like Javier Baez for the uh, Cubs. Looks like we got number 46 out of 217. It's a sweet looking card. Looks like that is also in August. All right, next one. Okay, got George Springer for the Astros. 327 out of 508. A lot of people guess that one, I guess. Over 500 people. Numbered card nonetheless. Let's see. Looks like we got two more here. Another George Springer. 415 out of 506, which is interesting. This was also done in August. All these were done in August, basically the same week. Last one, we have Cody Bellinger. 218 out of 355. So there you go, guys. There's the home run challenge cards. Not too shabby, if you ask me. They look pretty neat. And of course, this is the receipt. Just basically saying this is how it comes from top. Checking them off. That so we got six. I believe that is as many as I won. So about a four month return on that. So I'll put these guys in plastic. And um, I'll probably end up putting these up on the on my eBay store sooner than later because I'm not a huge fan of anyone but Javi Baez. So we'll see if anybody interested in those. Keep a lookout. Now let's get to our returns. Episode probably 24 with our returns, guys. We got one, two, three, four coming in today. So awesome. Let's see what we did. First one coming out of Columbus, Ohio. Uh, of course, you guys, if you've seen my channels, I don't care about showing my address. My address is all, all over the place. I have eBay stores and everything else, so it does not bother me. First one coming out is... Ooh, what's this? Looks like John Fish... Uh, Fish. Fischl. Fischl. I don't know, but 1989 Fleared. Got some black ink on the bottom left corner there. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Looks like he was a free signer. I sent him out on the 3rd. Uh, no, I guess it was the 13th of October. Today's November 16th. So that's about a 36-day about a return. Also, sometimes if I don't know a player too well, or sometimes if I do, I'll write up a question. And this question I asked, um, what stadium was the hardest to play in? And he wrote Wrigley Fields. So... I don't know if it was the stadium or the fans, but pretty cool. So, first return success for 89 Fleer. Thank you, Mr. Fischel. All right, number two, coming out of North Texas. Uh, postmark the 13th. Let's see how we do here. What the heck is this? 
Okay, it looks like John Huddick. This is weird, guys. I sent John Huddick. Looks like the... It's weird. Like the... The 2nd of October. Today's the 16th. That's... It's about a 45-day turnaround, but this is not the card I sent. I, I, I didn't write down the card I sent, but I sent one card, and it wasn't this card because I don't know any of these cards. This is a 1989 The Star Company. Looks like he sends these out to people, but he kept the card I sent and sent me this one. But nonetheless, gave us some black ink, nice autograph on this 89 uh, card. The Star Company is what it's called. So, success nonetheless. Thank you very much, Mr. Huddick. We will take your autograph, even if you give us a card. <laughs> All right, third one. Coming out of Tampa, Florida. Got a Halloween stamp, so I sent those out the week of Halloween. Let's see uh, how we did. Who this is. Oh, wow, guys. Check it out. For the set, Wade Boggs. I sent to Mr. Wade Boggs um, earlier, probably one of the first ones I sent out. I've only been doing this TTM thing for a few months now. Uh, been loving it. And, of course, Wade Boggs was one of the first ones I got back. Mr. Wade Boggs is a $10 donation. I sent him out the 2nd of November. Today is the 16th. It's a quick ret return for Mr. Wade Boggs. That's 14 days. Very cool. Like I said, he is a $10 donation. Mr. Wade Boggs played for the Red Sox most of the time. Um, but if you notice, need him for the set. So, boom. All right. Last one, guys. Last one. And it's not postmarked. Cool. Let's see who this is. Oh, sweet. Storm Davis. I have sent Mr. Storm Davis before, but I like his autograph, and I didn't have him on some of these other ones, and he doesn't mind signing. Mr. Storm Davis is a free signer. Looks like it is a 5 out of 5 success. Here's an 89 tops. It's like a 90 tops. Some blue ink on that. Bust this out over here. Looks like we got a good old 1991 Fleer with that striking yellow. <laughs> Blue ink on that, which is nice. And then, wow, two more. We got a 91 Donruss and a 91 Tops, All with some blue ink with Mr. Storm Davis. Thank you a lot, Mr. Storm Davis. Very cool, guys. So we got, uh, that was a 5 out of 5 success. Thank you, Mr. Wade Boggs. Thank you, Mr. John Fischel. And also, Mr. Huddick, for your card you sent us. Um, some positive returns here, guys. Give us a like and subscribe if you don't mind. Um, collection's growing. You know me. I'd like to find out what's your favorite card or your autograph. Uh, it's going to be Wade Boggs as far as my 89. And it's Wade Boggs. But as far as favorite autograph, mm -hmm. it's going to be a tough one. It might have to be this black ink of John Huddick. Nice autograph. Tell me in the comments what you think, guys. Johnny out.